in this Madden 22 breakdown, I wanted to revisit an air raid concept that is probably the best passing concept in Madden. Honestly, it might just be the best passing concept in football. Now, if you are new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and to click that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to this channel, and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the channel. Now, in this video, like I said, I wanted to revisit a concept, um, the Y crossing concept, and I really wanted to look at this concept um, as a just an absolute money two by two passing concept. You can also do this out of three by one, um, but this is an air raid staple. And the way we're gonna teach it in this video, I think is much better for Madden than maybe the ways that I've taught it in the past. Now, um, I do wanna let you know real quickly that if you wanna get my full Arizona Cardinals air raid offensive guide, um, it is available by joining my Patreon. Every Madden 22 ebook that I've released so far and any ebook that I will release in the future is available in my Patreon. What's really cool about the membership is it's only $10 a month, and you actually, by joining the membership, get access to every ebook. So I've got 18 offensive and defensive guides in the membership right now. I've also got a ton of updates to those ebooks. We update the Patreon every single week with new material that you can use, uh, new little tweaks on ebooks, or maybe new little like ability setups that you need, or new glitches that we find throughout the course of the year. So the Patreon really is the best one-stop shop for everything that you need to become a better Madden player. And it's only $10 a month. So if you want to sign up for that, there's a link in the description below where you can do that. But let's take a look at the Y crossing concept. So what I like to do with this play ideally is you want to run this with the ball on the right hash mark. Um, but you can run it on either side or even in the middle of the field. Now from a setup perspective, what we're going to do with this is we're going to go ahead and we're going to put our running back. Now it's up to you. Um, the re really the route that we're going to really primarily focus on, or the route the reason we're calling this play, is for the Mike Evans route. Um, it's probably the best route, um, the best check down read in Madden because there's not very many zones that are going to guard it. This running back route is really good too. You could also wheel the running back if you like the wheel route, um, or you could out route the running back if you like the out route, or if you want to. You could put him on a table route, um, but my recommendation would be either to leave him on his default swing or to wheel him or to put him on an out route. Now, the primary thing that we're going to do and really the adjustment that we're going to make, you don't have to do this. You can leave Miller on his route, but what I've found in Madden 22 and just the way the game works and the way people play zones, I really like to put him on a skinny post just like this. So a smart route skinny post to Scotty Miller, and then... You can kind of do whatever you want with this guy too. So if you want to put him on a hitch, I've been putting him on a hitch a lot. I really do like the hitch. Um, you can't ever go wrong with a zig. Either a hitch or a zig is what I like to do with him. And then we're going to re-crosser the tight end. It's going to make his route go deeper. So you see this is what the play looks like. And if you didn't have any of that, you could do that. You might just need to do it out of a different play, such as the PA read. So you could do it out of this concept here. Um, you see we get this nice deep skinny post so we could zig him and then you know again you might need a slot apprentice or a hot route master quarterback for this um, but you could even do something like this right here or even a deep dig route if you wanted to do something like that okay but this is i like to do it for this because we get this nice little curl uh, to mike evans here and then again if you want to block the running back you certainly can um, you can also block and release the running back um, you have a lot of flexibility with him and how you use him. The wheel route's really good for cover three, and I'll show you that real quick. So um, this is also a real simple read, right? We're just looking left to right. So we're looking left, no, running back, uh, oh, yeah, we can throw that low ball. What's cool about the running back route that I want to really highlight real quickly is it's hard to guard. Like, it really is hard to guard this route. So what that does, especially from a spread formation, so like, let's say they send five, or let's say they send six at you. Um, it's really hard for them to guard this. Like you can just lowball that and you've got to read, okay? Now let's say they do, let's say they jump out to the running back. So let's say they, let's say they man blitz you and they, they go, I mean, this is probably honestly their best chance. But let's say they send some man pressure. Um, then that's where you can put the running back on an out route and it's a very quick read gets in gets out real quick real simple like that if you 
you know, if they do man pressure, another thing you could do against man pressure, I've talked about this before against air, air out of the spread, but this is another way to deal with pressure. Really, your running back's the best solution, but if they blitz you, just throw the wheel out there and you see how we can easily beat that. So what that requires now is their user has to go over there, okay? So their, their user has to go over here to guard the running back route. So what that's going to do for your offense is if you have a zig, now you can just snap. Oh, that's open. I got grass. I'll throw it. So that's why I like the zig there. Um, if they put a yellow zone, which they might do, it's like a shaded down, a shaded down yellow zone. You'll have to wait for just a second. But if you wait on it, you can throw that to the outside and be able to beat the yellow that way. So you're able to beat a hard flat, a yellow, and a purple all in one little zone or one little uh, one little concept. So that's that's another reason why I like this. So let's talk about Mabel coverage real quick. So uh, most people, most defenses are going to run something like this, some variation of this. This is really good for Mabel coverage because the crossing route gets open at multiple points within the zone. So you're looking right, no, come back here. Okay, I can throw that there and hit that there. Now in that scenario, the cloud flat was a little bit, um, a little bit lesser than the the 25 that most people will put it at. But you can throw this crossing route all across the formation. So you can throw it early, you can also throw it late. So like if you want to throw it early, boom, no. Okay, we're going to continue to progress through and you see how it's going to get open on the sideline right there. So that's what I'm saying about early or late. So depending on how the cloud plays over there, if it plays, if it's a 30 yard cloud, it's just going to drop to a spot. So the best way I can do that is to illustrate that is via this coverage right here. So I'm going to try to do it like this, but Essentially, if if there's a 30 yard cloud over there, it's going to play more like a like a Tampa two cloud. And so what you'll notice is the whole like the it, where it breaks, like right in there, you can kind of throw. And I threw it just a little bit too late, but you can kind of throw it right in that window. Obviously, um, another thing you can do is just again just wait on it to get to the sideline. It's fine. The other thing I want to really capitalize on though about this this route combo is this is going to force Mabel. But the other thing that's going to be a problem is this route to Mike Evans. What you'll see is that it'll just curl up in the zone really well. And there's not really a zone in the game that's going to guard that. Honestly, the best chance they have is to have a, a vertical hook, like a stock vertical hook. And I'll show you what that looks like. So like, let's say they do like a cloud and they have two vert hooks, something like this. Probably their best chance is to hit you with something like this. The problem is now the underneath flat to the the, the running back is going to be wide open. So you'll see here, vert hook gets sucked in. I can throw, I got all that grass out there to hit that running back. So this concept really is hard to guard, um, especially if you can throw that, that low ball there. Now let's talk about match coverage. This is really why I put the skinny post out here to the left side. So let's say they run um, some match concepts on you. What you'll notice here is that this tight end crosser will, will, will really cook match coverage. I threw it, I had a bad pass lead there, but it will really get open on the sideline there. Let me show that one more time. Again, good old practice mode with the instant sheds. But let me show you this, um, this, this coverage. So if they're in traditional match, what you should see here is that this route to the tight end um, will get open on the sideline right there. It's more of a route running thing, but it typically will get open against match. Now, Let's say, for example, that you want to, um, oh, let's say, for example, that you really, you know they're calling match and you want kind of a, a little bit of an isolation route. What you can do with this is you can actually go ahead and leave or smart route that out route or just like make it go 10 yards. You don't even need it to go 10 yards. Just leave it what it is. If you leave that out route there, what will happen is the match will convert to man on him. And then it leaves a one-on-one -on, -one on this skinny post. So if you have a guy that can win that matchup, that's an advantage um, primarily for match coverage. So that's one of the main reasons why I really like this route, uh, this route combination. And let's say if they're running palms, you might want to keep that fade there. But the other thing is, I'll show you here. This is just the default route depth. What you'll see is that safety, he, he actually he converts there, but he can't help on this route right here. Okay? So that's how I kind of cook match or just a, a simple way that you can you can kind of beat match from this. 
And then the last coverage I wanted to hit on, I talked a little bit about man, but I want to talk about man primarily through the perspective of like a shaded up variation. You've got your crosser, you got your wheel, you've got your hitch, you've got, or not your hitch, your zig, and then you've got your post. So your zig, no, crosser, yes, but then I've got this skinny post again, isolated in a one-on-one -on -one matchup over the top that I can take advantage of. So, you know, if I can win the one-on-ones, this concept is borderline unstoppable. The other thing that I want, and it's band 22, so you're probably gonna win the one-on-ones most of the time. But the other thing I wanna say is you have the ultimate check down in the game. You have this, um, you have this this route to the back, but you also have this curl, and the curl flat doesn't guard it. So you see how I can just throw it and throw it and throw it and throw it. One last coverage I want to hit on real quick before we take off is of course the cover two. If they run cover two against you know something like this, this is not a great read. Um, obviously your skinny post is going to be wide open, um, but if you take a look here, you see your skinny post will be wide open, your crosser will be wide open. Um, the one thing I did want to point out is, let's say for example that we flip this and we run this to the wide side of the field. Uh, just to illustrate this, I'm going to leave the defense kind of where it is. But let's just say we run this to the wide side of the, wide side of the field. If you watch this, this uh, vert hook here on the left, you see it still guards that route. But again, you have this post because of the wheel. Because of the running back wheel, that post route will get wide open against cover two. So let me show you that one more time. Again, good old overthrows and all that stuff for practice mode, but let me show you real quick. So again, just post Scotty Miller. I like to smart route this out if I'm worried about match coverage. If I don't think it's match, then I'm going zig every time. But what you'll see is against, you see how this wheel will just, see how that deep half just freezes and it's a one play score over the top. So that's how I can kill uh, deep halves. Cover four drop, I honestly don't see that a lot, but um, I will say cover four drop is probably going to be fine against the bomb, but your curl should be there. It might you might get a little bit of an opening here. It's more of a speed threshold, and the problem is Scotty Miller's just not. I mean, he's fast, but you're not going to be able to get over the top of a cover four drop in general, um, just because of where how deep he is in the three three five normal. But if they bring him down, you might have a shot. But then again, everything else is open, so you don't just have to hit that. And then cover three from a bomb perspective. Honestly, this shouldn't, it's not terrible against cover three from a bomb perspective. Once he crosses that guy's face, you see there, you've got a one on one. So if you've got a good aggressive guy or somebody that can win that matchup, then you can easily hit that. But this is why I like spread because the whole field is utilized in this passing route combo. And that's something that I think is really underrated. And please, please, please learn how to throw that route to the running back. The other thing I wanted to just quickly point out about the vert hook from a Tampa 2 alignment. See how this vert hook gets pulled in and I can low ball right there. So that's another thing that I want you to hit. If you could really master this route, they're gonna really have to, because once they have to really guard the running back, everything else becomes open. And that's what's really cool about this concept. And please take your check down. Please take your little zig. Please take your little curl. Um, those are built into this, this play to help build off of it, right? So we wanna open up that crosser by using the zig okay so anyways that's the concept i think this is a much better way to run y cross to be honest with you this curl is really a game changing route um because of where it gets to on the field you can smart route the curl as well um so if you need a short little curl you can or a, or a deep one you certainly can have that as well in your arsenal you'll see here if it goes a little deeper and it just makes it it's just hard it's just hard to get to and they're going to have to have two vert hooks, plus they're going to have to mape both sides, which they can't do that. They, they, they just don't have enough zones to guard this play. It uses the whole field, um, which is really why I like it so much. So, anyways, that's the concept. If you want to get the, if you want to get my air raid offensive guide, there's a link in the description below where you can get that for just ten bucks a month. Remember, it doesn't just unlock the air raid offense. You get all Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks. In addition to that, we also give you every new ebook. Um, while your membership is active and every update that we've done and will do on those guides, which we typically update them every single week. So you get a lot of stuff for just $10 a month. I think it's the best deal in the community. I would really encourage you to sign up for it. Again, there's a link in the description below where you can sign up right now. So just head on down to the description and click the link if you want to sign up.